Hello. Hello. Hi, my name is Matilda, um, or you can call me Tilly, and I'm from Australia, Perth. So, how long have you been here? Uh, I've been in Tokyo for about a month now. A month. Um, yeah, so I got here end of September. And it's been awesome. It's, it's such a crazy place, but I'm so excited to be here and I'm loving it so far. Uh, so, we will try tonkatsu? Yeah, I'm like, really excited. I haven't actually had it yet. I've eaten a lot of food here, yeah. but um, there's so many things to try, so I can't wait to try it. Yeah, it looks so good. Oh, I love how they do this in Japan. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's busy now because yeah. of lunch time. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, did you have to? I know in Japan, some of them you have to like write your name down. Um, I think it's okay just to wait just here. Wait. Yeah. And they will call us oh, when cool. seats are available. So. Ah, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. I skipped <laughs> breakfast this morning just to enjoy this meal. So. Okay. Is there any Japanese restaurants in Australia? Where in Australia are you from? Okay, so I'm from Perth. Uh, so, yes, much. Yes, the West opposite side, side to yeah. everyone else. Um, <laughs> it's a pretty small city, like the most isolated city in the world. Um, there are Japanese restaurants there, mm -hmm. uh, not as common. The Australian people don't, uh, in my city, don't eat it as much. There are a few ramen places and sushi, and, uh, but everything is really expensive okay. compared to here. Like it's it's so much cheaper and so much better in Tokyo. Um, Especially like now, like yen currency is depreciating a lot, so uh, you feel like very cheap. Australia is not too different. Um, yeah. So about one for one oh, with Australia. Okay. If you were an American, it'd be really good, uh, yeah. but Australia is not. Oh. So what do I do here? Uh, I'm a student, so yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. So I've come to Japan to study Japanese at a language school. Uh, I've been doing it for three weeks now and I still don't really know anything, <laughs> so don't test me. <laughs> Yeah. Well, what brought you here? Why I came here? Oh, there's so many reasons, and I feel like every foreigner has sort of the same response. You know, culture, food. Yeah. I, my town, my city is really small, so I kind of wanted to live somewhere that was huge and lots going on and a lot of people. Um, and I've always loved Japan. I love the food, the culture, the fun stuff. I have a few friends here as well, so that made it a little bit easier to transfer over. And they're all Japanese, so they oh, sort of helped me with the day to day with. Stuff. Oh, you, you met them in Australia. Yes, in Australia. Yeah. So it's been it's been good. I've done a lot since I've got here, uh, but there's just still so much to do in Tokyo. I, feel. Yeah, I think you came here at the right time because yeah. you know, we have a lot of events going on right now. Because, yeah. You know, a half year ago, mm. you know, we didn't have much like, events because of Corona. But, yeah. Uh, we are now open to so many things. So. Yeah. Well, I went to last night. I went to a ramen festival ramen in festival. Ikebukuro, mm. uh, and it was so good. There were okay. so many. Different there was like 20 different trucks, well, then, I, like outside everyone relaxing and sitting on the grass and just drinking and it was really relaxed, which was miso and uh, shio and all these different types um, and it was really good. How long do we be staying here? In, uh, my visa is for a year and a half, so that's yeah, so that's as long as I can stay. Um, I probably will be at least a year, just a student, and then from there I'll see if I like it or not. If I want to work, maybe I'll stay longer. There's no time difference between like Japan and Australia. I think one hour. One hour, yeah. yeah. Where I'm from is behind, and then the other side of Australia is ahead oh, okay. by an hour. Oh, you? Yeah. Okay, okay. I've had an easier time adjusting than a lot of my foreign friends who've come from Europe and they're all jet lagged, and I've been fine. So. <laughs> Tonkatsu yeah. is like a deep fried pork. Okay. And this one is just chicken. Oh, okay. Deep fried chicken. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Oishi! That's it. It's hot, right? It's just fried. It's so good. It's so tasty. Yum! Mm -hmm. It's good. And chips. I don't want to say you guys haven't perfected it yet, but chips aren't as good. <coughs> so, what 
what do you recommend if I go to your country? Mm. I mean, your hometown. Mm. My my hometown is very relaxing, so yeah. we have really good beaches. Yeah. Food-wise, I don't think I'd have any recommendations. Australia doesn't really have any specific dishes, I guess, in comparison to Japan. Maybe like a Australian barbecue would be what I'd suggest, but a bit different. Veggie Mai, yeah, 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 that's a classic. <laughs> um, I brought a whole big jar with me to Japan because I knew I was going to miss it. So I've made all of my, I live in a share house, so I've made all of my uh, foreign friends try it. And yeah. Yeah, something like similar to that because it's like fermented. Yeah, it's fermented. It's very distinctive It's very distinctive. It's really salty and really intense and you have to like spread it over toast yeah. you wouldn't just eat it normally um i love it i grew up with it so i haven't okay so i had i've had natto once in australia um but from what i've heard from my friends it was like the worst quality i don't want to base my opinion off of that i want to have it in japan first um but i think it's a texture thing that i don't really understand <laughs> the, like the flavor is okay but the texture is a little bit odd yeah I'd be willing to try it again. <laughs> this is cucumber. Cucumber. Okay. Yeah, oh. in your mouth, probably. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's try it. Mmm. It's really fresh. Oh, I can't say I've ever done cucumber with crab meat. It's so different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. How am I gonna eat this? <laughs> it's so you, big. You I believe. Okay. Let's try. Ooh. <laughs> wow. It's so big. Do you have any fish? Like food, like seafood? In Australia? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we have a lot of seafood. Um, it's just pretty expensive for what it is. A crayfish, prawns, all those beautiful, delicious things. We have a lot of them. So near my house, uh, I live sort of near the river in Perth, um, and we go like crabbing and crayfishing and stuff all the time. So uh, it's really fresh and delicious. And I miss it already. But Japan's got really sea good yeah, yeah. seafood. So. Really like uh, raw fish. Is it more like boiled fish? In Australia, yeah. 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 You don't, unless it's in sushi, you don't really eat raw fish. Like fish and chips are very common in Australia because we have a big English influence. Um, so it's not as good in Australia. I don't know. I don't want to be down on Australia. I love Australia. Australia is fantastic. I'm so sorry, everyone. Australia is awesome. Um, but it's just, it's different. The quality is not the same and it's very expensive for what it is like yeah. if you come to Japan you could probably get a thing of sushi for 100 200 yen for like a, a cheap style whereas in Australia that would easily be 900 yen for the cheapest that you could get for two pieces so it's expensive yeah it's, it's expensive there's in Perth there's a sushi train that I often go to and I we have a sushi train yeah one <laughs> one sushi train uh, and I probably spend 40 to 50 Australian dollars for lunch this is tonkatsu but with bread Okay. Do you have this kind of food in Australia? Uh, like a normal sandwich? Yes. Not 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 like this. Like no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, please try. Okay. With my hands or chopsticks? Uh, hand. Is okay. Hand. Okay. Let's go with hand. That is so good! <laughs> oh my god! I don't, I don't think, yeah. It's so much softer than I expected. <laughs> Yum! Mm. Come off! Nope. Miso. Yum! Look how cool! That looks, oh, that smells so good! <laughs> Yum! 
difference between tonkatsu and this mm. is kawaku and egg. Mm -hmm. Also, sauce is a bit different. Okay. Pretty difficult to pick it up and eat with chopsticks. <laughs> okay. But we have a spoon. Oh, Ooh, it's so different. Yeah. How cool. <laughs> All right, cool. Easy. Ooh, yum. Okay. Oh, yum. Yeah. I love miso soup. It's so tasty. Mm. It's hot though. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Yum. And then pickled vegetables. Yep. Okay. What would it be? Radishes and something yuzu. else? It's called yuzu. Okay. It's kind of Japanese citrus. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm. Yum. That is something I really like about Japan is that they have cabbage and or veggies with everything. Oh, like extra sauce. Oh, for the cabbage. Cool. Because it's pretty expensive to buy vegetables in Japan. Um, and fruit. Yeah, fruit yeah, is food. really expensive yeah. here. <laughs> That's what a lot of foreigners told me. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Nice and refreshing. Mm. Mm. Ooh, the egg is still runny. Yep. It looks so good. Okay. Mm. Alright. No, I ruined it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just got me. <laughs> this is just me. <laughs> like, not. Mm. Oh, it's so soft. The egg is so good. Mm. Yum. That's so good. <laughs> mm. Oh, I think this might this might be better than the sandwich. Yeah, yeah. I think. Thank you for taking me here. <laughs> it's so close to my home as well, so I'm gonna be coming here all the time. <laughs> I really went over the top of this. <laughs> Alright, we finished. Woohoo! Are you full? I'm so full. <laughs> Need to go have a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Honestly, this was so delicious. I am so glad I tried it and I'll definitely be having it again. Alright. Bye. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.